Hey, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. I am Lauren, and in today's video, I'm going to review all of Njun's Manny system. There's a lot of products in this box, so I'm gonna go through all of them for you. And what I'm gonna do is go through all the products, their benefits, I'm gonna show you how to use them, and then at the end, I'll share my final thoughts on the application and how long the polish lasted. I just tried the Olive and June Pop On Nails not too long ago, and I loved them. I have a video review that I will link here for you and also in the caption below. I mostly wear glue-on nails, and I've been doing glue-ons and press-ons mostly for the last two years. I will occasionally get like an actual manicure, but for the most part, I really like glue on nails, but sometimes you just don't want the length and you just want painted natural nails. So that is why I'm trying the Manny system today. I love the idea of painted nails, but I usually stick to glue ons because I always mess them up before they dry. And then I just waste hours painting my own nails and then having to take them all off because I smudged them. So I have some cool products that I'm gonna be testing today that supposedly makes the polish dry faster and last longer. And they say that the Olive and June manicure should last between five and seven days, which I would be shocked if that's true because usually manicures on me last for one day, maybe, if I could even get to the point of it lasting and not smudging while I'm still waiting for it to dry. <laughs> By the way, if you want to buy this set, I have a 20% off discount code that I will link below for you. Also, if you love seeing what's new in beauty and nail trends, then subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you every time I post something new and then hit that little notification button so you are notified every time I post something. All right, let's get into Olive and June. Olive and June polishes are crafted to be a long lasting formula and it has the base coat already in the polish. You don't need any sort of base coat before you start painting your nails, which is really cool, but I'm going to be testing some today just because I wanna do a little review on them. So I'm gonna do some nails with it, some nails without. We're gonna see dry time if it affects anything. Like we're testing all the things in this video, but you don't have to have a base coat. They actually have the primer included in the nail polish. And then when you add the top coat, you should get five to seven plus days of wear. And the Olive and June products are vegan, cruelty-free, and seven-free. When you see seven-free, it means that it's free of the seven toxic chemicals that are common in most regular nail polish formulas. I'm not gonna try to pronounce them all, but I will list them here so you can <laughs> read through them for yourself. Okay, so let's get into the system. It comes with 11 items. It's $55 if you select to get one polish color or it's 85 if you select to get the six. So the one color is a $69 value and then if you get six colors, it's a $109 value. So it's definitely worth buying the set, especially with my 20% off discount code. And then it has a 4.6 star rating, 7,300 reviews. So I feel like that's a pretty good ratio. People are very impressed with the Olive and June set. Okay, so this is what comes in your box, quite a bit of products, but beautiful nails for everyone. And then it just talks about the history of Olive and June. And then I got the one with six polish colors. So there's a ton of products in here, but I basically got all neutrals and then one bright one. This is the poppy that I was talking about earlier. So this attaches to the nail polish and helps you basically paint with a more steady hand. And then they say that the studio box is part of the 11 items. I mean, are you gonna keep it in the box? Maybe, probably not, but it's okay if you do. And then it comes with the pouch and then the cuticle serum, which I have been using this for a couple weeks now and I am obsessed with it. I have never used a cuticle serum that I like so much. It dries so fast and it's like, this is what it looks like. So it's this little wand and then you click the product up into the head and you just brush it on. So it's not like an oily cuticle serum. You put it on and it dries within a minute and it's like amazing. I like <laughs> worth it just for that in itself. Like I'm already sold on the cuticle serums. And then it comes with the super glossy top coat and then a Manny perfecting cleanup brush and then the acetone. This is the nail polish remover pot a straight edge nail clipper, a dual grit manicure file, and then the salon quality nail buffer bar. I also purchased a few add-on products. So I got the nail primer, 
the dry drops that help it dry faster. And then the cuticle remover. The cuticle remover is $10 and it gently exfoliates and softens the skin around your nail. So it just makes cuticle care look better. And if you've watched any of my nail videos, you know that I always treat my cuticles before I do any sort of glue on or press on or gel or whatever. I think cuticle care is very, very important. This is avocado oil, argan oil, jojoba oil, and it moisturizes and nourishes. It's also dermatologist tested and a fragrance free, vegan and cruelty free. So pretty legit. The primer is also $10. It helps the manicures last two to three days longer than average. And you should get a 20% increase in the durability. It also gives you a smoother and easier application. And then the dry drops, which are $10, those dry nail polish to the touch in 80 seconds or less. It has jojoba seed oil. It gives you this like really pretty shine supposedly. And then you apply it with one hand thanks to the easy squeeze tube. And I'm gonna show you all of this later, but I just wanna share the benefits with you guys. It works with the nail polish with the super glossy top coat. So it gives you those long lasting results and then it helps everything dry faster, which I definitely need because I always ruin my manicures before they dry. So I'm hoping that these really do work. So if you add the primer and the dry drops when you order the Manny system, you get each of them for $8, so you do get a discount. And then if you're an Olive and June member, you get the cuticle remover and the primer for $1 off. The Olive and June membership is $40 a year, and then you save a 10% on every purchase that you make. And then you also get member only surprises, which I don't know what those are. I'm not a member, but if you are a member, let me know in the comments because I'm very curious. I bought a lot of the add-ons, so my overall price was a lot more than just if you were to get this set. So what I'm going to do in today's video is try it with just the set where we can see, okay, do you need all of the add-ons or is the set good enough on its own? So I'm going to test the primer on one hand and see if it helps with how long the polish lasts and then also see how it affects the dry time. Because sometimes when you add a base coat, I feel like it makes the polish take longer to dry. And I'm also going to test the dry drops on a few fingers on each hand. So we'll know if it works with the system alone or if it works better if you add the primer. We're going to find out all of the things today. All right, so let's get into the application. I'm going to zoom in on my hands and I'm going to talk you through the Olive and June manicure method. They have some really great tips that I've never heard of before. So let's go do my nails. The polish I used in the video is GH. These are the other colors I chose. So first you start with the flat edge clipper and the dual grit nail file. They recommend to do this over your old nail polish so you can see what shape you like with polish on. I don't have old nail polish on <laughs> because I was wearing press-ons, but it should be fine. And then they also say to let the clipper do 90% of the work and then the file to do the last 10%, so you don't need to over-file. And they say to file in one direction instead of going back and forth. I am gonna use a cuticle remover because I think cuticle care is super important and I'm gonna use it on both hands because I just want to try it. I would be using a cuticle remover regardless, so we might as well test theirs. So you wanna shake well before use and then apply the cuticle remover and rub it in, wait at least five minutes, and then use the round edge of the cuticle pusher to push the cuticles back, wipe away any residue before you continue on with your manicure or pedicure. And they say the longer you wait, the more work the product does for you. And then you wanna clear off the surface of the nail. So you're gonna grab the buffer and you take a corner and position it in the crevice of the nail on the cuticle, and then you use the buffer as an eraser and you buff the nail to smooth it if you have any ridges or any leftover glue or anything. And then you use the acetone, and this is interesting. They actually say to not wash your hands because the water or oil between your polish and nail can cause the polish to chip later. They also say to not wash your hands when you do the glue on nails and I could not for the life of me figure out why because I always like to wash off my cuticle care, but now I get it. So next time I try that, I'm just gonna use the little acetone pot because I'm obsessed with this thing and why not? Like I said before, the set doesn't come with the base coat because the polish includes a base coat inside like the primer. So I did buy the separate primer and I'm gonna test it on one hand to compare. So one thing that's really cool with the primer is it dries it super fast. It's not like a clear base coat like we're all used to. And I also love this little brush. This is amazing. And then all polishes have an overcap. So you wanna pop it off and then you grab the flat side of the brush and put the poppy over it. Line it up with the flat side. 
You do not need to push Poppy down super far. They say it'll leave a little bit of the white cap in your view. And then you lift the brush out of the bottle, wipe one side of the brush, and then lightly wipe the other side and start the brush in the center of the nail and push it towards your cuticle instead of starting on your cuticle and brushing towards the tip of your nail. So you start in the center, push down towards the base and then pull back towards the end. And the first coat should be super thin, like looks like crap. And you wait five to 10 minutes to make sure the polish doesn't chip later. This will also help prevent bubbles. And then you start with the second coat and this one you can start at the cuticle and brush towards the end. They say to apply it no more than two to three coats. And then to clean up, you grab the little brush, swirl it in the remover pot, and clean up any mishaps. And then you apply the top coat after you wait for the second coat to dry. And you want to do this every two to three days, which I've also never tried that before, so that's cool. And then the dry drops, I'm going to use them on a few fingers on each hand and just see if it really helps with the dry time. After you wait an hour or more, and now you're gonna apply the cuticle serum. I'm literally obsessed with this. I highly recommend everybody buy it. This is the best serum I've ever tried and I've tried way too many. I actually tried this on my big toe. I had this really weird dry patch happening by my nail. I used this for two days and it's completely gone and looks like baby skin again. So amazing. Okay, I'm gonna wear these nails around as long as they last and then I'll give my final review when I'm ready to remove them. Okay, I am back for the final review of the nail polish. So the nails that I used on the primer hand definitely held up a little bit better than the non-primer hand. These started chipping the next day, so I do actually very much recommend the primer. I can't count my middle fingers because I filed those the day of me doing my nails because they were a little bit rough and those started chipping immediately, but that was my bad, so I'm not counting those. And they both chipped, so that was like clearly from filing too soon. Overall, the nails, I would say they lasted four days, on the primer hand. I don't think that, I mean, these started chipping the next day. So this hand is out, but the primer hand, they really did very well until the fourth day and then it started chipping, which is the best I've ever had with any nail polish. So I am very happy about that. And then the thumb and the pointer fingers started chipping first. That's totally normal because you obviously use those the most. But what was interesting was my left hand started chipping up before my right hand. So my right hand had the primer, my left hand didn't have the primer. So I do definitely think that the primer helps it last longer. And then I wanna mention my review of the add-ons that I purchased. So the cuticle serum was very runny. I wouldn't say that it's my favorite. My all-time favorite is from London Town and I will link that below. It's incredible and it's not runny. You just brush it on, it's much, easier and I feel like you don't use as much product when you go to remove your cuticles. The dry drops are very oily feeling. I don't think they really made that big of a difference and it was hard to tell if they really dried me faster because I didn't want to wash my hands and like ruin everything. I don't know if you're supposed to wash them off. Like if you know how to use the dry drops, please let me know in the comments below because for me, I don't think that they made anything dry faster. I feel like just letting the polish dry for at least five minutes between each coat really did the best job. The cuticle pusher, it's a cuticle pusher. It's not groundbreaking. I would not buy that. It's $10. I like the wood ones more actually. I think they're a little bit more gentle or you could just use your thumb. That's one of the interesting things that Olive and June recommends is they say every day when you're in the shower, once your cuticles have softened from the shower and the water and the steam in the shower, you could actually take your thumbnail and push all of your cuticles back. So they say you can train your cuticles by doing that. And then when you go to do your nails, you don't really need a pusher. I obviously haven't tried that yet, but I'm gonna start doing that. It's hard to do when you have glue on nails because you have something in the way, but when you have polish or nothing on your nails, I think it's definitely easier. So, 
worth a shot. If you've done that, let me know if that worked for you. Out of everything I purchased, I do recommend trying the primer. I do think it made a difference for me. And then I love everything that comes in this set. So the remover pot, I love this thing. It's so fast. I'm going to show you how quickly it works. So you just put your finger in and swish it around. And like, it's so good. And then I also really love the buffer tool. It makes your nails very smooth and it doesn't feel too abrasive. The polished colors are great. I really love every single color that I got. The cuticle serum is amazing. I really do highly recommend this set. Oh, I probably, that probably was way more than I needed to do <laughs> to get all that polish off. But here, there's a faster one. Look, a little bit more. So easy. This is worth it just in itself. This and the cuticle serum I absolutely love, but I would just invest in the whole set because it really does have a lot of products that I think you'll enjoy and they'll last you for a while too. The only thing I could see it being used up quickly is the cuticle serum. I cannot get a read on how much product is in there. I feel like I'm pushing so hard when I use it because the little like fuzzy ball part on the top is a little matted down and it's only a couple weeks old. So I probably could just pump out more serum. I don't know. I do love that thing though. And I love this thing. And what's cool is this has the top part for your toenails. And then this is an acetone free nail polish remover. I don't know if I mentioned that before. So if you want to try this set, I do have that 20% off discount linked in the bio. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you next time. Thanks for watching.